welcome to our latest episode of STEM Chat. April is National Letter Writing Month, so this episode we're talking about sending STEM in the mail. You might remember a few months ago we did do a segment on STEM in the mail featuring uh, Diana's huge um, dinosaur paper that she folded up and they sent to a friend. Um, and this month we're elaborating and coming up with more fun ideas for you to uh, send happy mail and send STEM in the mail. That's right. Um, so we're going to start out by talking about insects and bugs. Uh, so my younger daughter is super into bugs right now, and I thought it would be fun to send some butterfly letters. So we printed out some uh, butterfly pictures we found online. Um, they were, you know, I just kind of did like a Google search and um, I found a lot of, in, uh, I'm sorry, I found a lot of butterfly images also on websites that sell butterflies. This is really cool because I think it's, it's such a fun idea instead of just using writing a letter it sounds you know kind of boring maybe but this makes it more fun because you're, you pick some really colorful butterflies so while you're doing this you know your child is also learning you know different kinds of butterflies and all about them while she's you know writing notes to her friends yeah that's true um and oop, hold on let me get to the next picture um yes here she is writing and it, it the butterfly shape is kind of fun too because um you can fold it and it looks like a butterfly still oh, that's adorable yeah that's really cool did they have fun doing this yeah um she did she wrote so many letters and then she also um had a lot of fun cutting them out it's like the cutting's not perfect but that's still okay um right and, it doesn't matter know, yeah it, she had a lot of fun doing it and the butterflies are kind of pretty too so they're just kind of like all over our house now so that's kind of fun Oh, that's cool. So here are some ideas of uh, different things you can send in the mail uh, to a friend that's STEM related. In addition to the paper butterflies, um, if you, you can see like all the um, leaves and, um, you know, artwork and photographs. And there's so much more. You can send even a little piece of mica as Diana has uh, sent around. We're waiting for ours. <laughs> Oh, okay. We'll send one. This one was actually meant for you and we didn't get a chance to mail it. Oh, yet. cool. I can't wait to get it. Yeah. yeah. You'll have to You'll let us know how well it survives the journey. Okay, definitely. <laughs> um, yeah, so here it is, um, the mica. We like to find rocks, as everyone probably knows now, and go rock pounding. But the mica is kind of neat because um, it's flexible. So you can peel off a piece and then see it's like flexi. So you can kind of, you can send it in the mail and it'll still meet the first class letter um, requirements. But there's also other fun um, gem and mineral stamps that you can use as well. I like those uh, diamond ones. So this was done by my daughter and she sent it to your girls. Um, she took some um, flower, a photo of some flowers in our, um, by our house and she used um, press flower stickers. So this was done back in February and things were just starting to bloom before spring. And um, we found these really cute, um, realistic looking stickers that look like press flowers um, from jet pens. Yeah, right. Daughters love the card that you guys sent. Here it is. It's so fun. So in addition to that, you know, the pressed flower stickers, now that they're blooming, um, we went and grabbed a few of the flowers, um, just a little bit. And I think it's easy to start with small ones because they will um, dry faster. So mm -hmm. here are the, um, they're from two different um, plants that we have around our home. So these are two of the main um, plants around our home. Um, Baby sage has really beautiful, vibrant pink, white, and this very deep reddish pink um, color to them uh, that I thought would be cute. And the creeping land landana, which is um, purple and it's just so cute with little tiny flowers. So um, I think I did this a couple of days ago. I'll show you what I've, uh, so I took um, the flowers and I put it in wax paper. And so because flowers have sort of a liquid to them, um, oops, these dry faster. So these little creeping lantana dried really well. Ooh, these are so pretty. Yeah, and so you can just include these little, you, know, you can tape them in a card or put them in wax paper and, and um, 
we just I just put him between really heavy books for a couple days. Um, and there's a larger one. I think it's it's still stuck to the wax paper because it's not completely dry yet. So that'll be dry. So actually, the smaller the better. I think um, if you want to do the whole like really sophisticated larger press flower look, I think those flowers take a long time and you have to keep like changing the paper um, to blot it. But I use wax paper so the the, the liquid um, wouldn't leak through into my books. So. I think they're pretty in the wax paper too. I feel like you can yeah. almost send them in the wax paper also. Yeah. That would be really nice. Um, let's see, so we also, this fall we had pressed a bunch of leaves. Um, oh, so pretty. So you can also send them. I think my daughter wrote, I love you on it. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> but it's kind of neat Those to be nice able to Oh yeah, yeah. It's a, I think they were more colorful and then they became brown as <laughs> time passed. But it's kind of neat to be able to find stuff in nature that you can send. Yes, and it's sort of like, um, I think for whoever's gonna receive it, it's like a little um, touch of nature. I think everybody feels happy with a little bit of nature around them. And you can also write the name of the flowers that you've pressed mm -hmm. so they can learn more about it, look up some facts. Oh, that's a great idea, yeah. So these okay. are the stickers that are pressed flowers. If you can't press any flowers around you, um, I got these on jet pens. They're from a Korean brand. And then this is um, China pink flower. And this is lavender. Ooh. So there's different kinds. I think there's more. And then even, you know, if you want to send a postcard, this was um, what you sent to us, Phyllis Ma's oh, yeah. um, River Mushroom artwork. Yeah, we have some of her other postcards here. It's neat because I really like how she depicts the mushrooms and... Um, it might be more difficult to send a mushroom in the mail, but you can still send it. Uh, yes, yes. Oh, I think there's tons stuff. of like postcards of butterflies and botanical yeah. things, and it's it's just um, something fun to send along. Yeah, yeah. we also, um, oh, there's an artist cool. I like named Christopher Marley, and he has some neat bug cards. That's gorgeous. My older daughter wanted to send a secret code letter to her friend. Um, so I had her write the alphabet out, and then she wrote um, a different number under each letter. And then she wrote her message, which you can see below. Um, and underneath each letter, she translated it and wrote a number. So um, you can see in the picture now, on the left-hand side, she is copying all of the numbers down that make the secret code message that she's going to send to her friend. That's cool. I love that. Like between friends, they have their own little, now they have their own little secret code language. Yes. Yes, yeah, that letter actually says something like, do you want to send secret code letters? If you want to, write back to me in our secret code. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> oh, I love that. And then oh, there's yeah. the little code key. That's great. Yep, yeah, so this is just what we're gonna mail to the friend, just the letter and then the code key. So she'll be able to um, hopefully figure it out and maybe write back. Oh, that's fun. Um, yeah, so uh, my younger daughter is also friends uh, with the younger sister of this little girl, and she wanted to send a secret code letter as well. But, um, you know, they're not quite reading yet because <laughs> they're in toddlers. Uh, so she drew a picture on a card instead, and she's also very into dinosaurs. So it was kind of a dino letter. Cute. Um, and then she cut the card apart, and she um, made a puzzle out of it. So... We've sent all the little pieces together and hopefully uh, her friend will be able to put it together and have her own secret message. Oh, that's fun. That's a great idea for younger kids. Yeah, I have, um, hopefully it'll be some fun for them. They like, my daughters like to do puzzles a lot. So I think this is nice. Um, okay, and then we also have been sending um, some sort of large format letters, and we sent one to you, Natalie. Yes, should I show yeah. you? Yeah, do you want to show? Yes. Uh, yes, we got this in the mail, which was really fun to open up. Let me just get it. This large format is large. This yes. is from um, the artwork in the pie episode. Remember the circles. Yeah, we got super into making circles. So then we're like, let's just make big circle letters to send. Yeah, <laughs> so it's fun and it's all full, folded it really well. But uh, yeah, it's fun to get. My daughter's like, oh wow, she's looking at all the little drawings that your, your daughters did. Um, it's really cute. 
Yeah, uh, I usually I like to put the big paper onto a table. I just kind of like tape it down and then they'll just like walk by and draw on it and decorate it once in a while. Oh, that's a good idea. But you yeah. filled it really well. because it, okay. it Yeah, I was like trying to make it um, nice and flat so it can get made yeah. <laughs> yeah, so now it's this is a really good flat shape, but it's so big and, and bold. So that was really fun. Thanks. So, oh, yes. Yeah, so speaking of, if um, you guys, the viewers, would like to send something in the mail that's large or, you know, maybe that you find in nature, um, there's some guidelines that you'll have to follow. But um, a first class letter can be mailed with a 55 cent stamp, although I did put an extra stamp on yours, Natalie, because I just wanted to make sure it would get there. Mm -hmm. And I was afraid it might weigh a little bit too much. If you'd like to send a first class letter, which costs 55 cents to send, um, you will wanna follow these sort of rules. Um, it needs to be a maximum of 3.5 ounces. It also needs to be machinable. So it needs to be a rectangle instead of a square. And it needs to be flexible so it can go through the machine. Um, it can be a maximum of six and an eighth inch by 11 and a half inches and a minimum of three and a half inches by five inches. Yeah, and when in doubt, just stick an extra stamp on it, right? As you always yes. say, remember. <laughs> you may need to stick, um, as long as it fits in the dimensions, you may need to stick like more extra stamps if it's extra big or weighs a lot. But I've mm -hmm. heard things about people sending like little boxes of movie candy in the mail oh, too. I don't know cool. how much it costs to send. There's all there's like a whole thing of like different fun things you can send in the mail, um, mm -hmm. like a brick or a hula hoop. Well, I remember when the movie um, came out with Matt Damon, the Martian, people sent, you could send potatoes. Really? Oh, wow. Yeah, That's so potatoes. neat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess there's lots of fun things. More than mm -hmm. 55 cents, but still fun. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> In addition to being able to send different shapes and sizes of envelopes, you can also use different types of stamps. You can use um, vintage stamps as long as they add up to 55 cents. And here's a look at some of the ones we really like. There's all sorts of stamps. These are vintage stamps. So um, we combine them together to equal 55 cents. And it's kind of a fun way to play with math too, because um, my older daughter has fun putting together the different combinations to equal 55. And my younger daughter's learning about what the different numbers are. Mm, do they also like, um, does she pick certain stamps for certain friends that she wants to have on there too? Yeah, she does. She thinks um, she kind of knows what her friends are interested in. So she usually tries to pick ones that her friends would be interested in. Very cool. Um, yeah. And so, um, you know, the, they have stamps about all different types of people. Um, so there's doctors and explorers and scientists. I actually didn't know who this was uh, until I saw the stamp. But this is Dr. Elizabeth Blackwell. And oh, she wow. was the first female physician. It's very cool. It's very detailed for such a small stamp. Yeah, yeah. I think it's pretty old because you can tell, you can see like the font is kind of an old style font. Um, and then this one was interesting. It's the photography stamp. And it's also, it's pretty old, but it was neat because it shows what the old camera looked like and a roll of film, which kids don't really see these days either. Mm -hmm. I recognize the space one. You think you sent us that too. Uh, the vintage space one right there in the middle. Oh, it's this one? Yes. Yeah. There you go. Um, they have all different sorts of images on the stamps too, which is neat. Um, there's all sorts of nature stamps and ocean stamps and flower stamps. There's these carnivorous plant stamps over here. Um, and there's dinosaur stamps. Uh, there's a lot of fun shapes. Um, I really like these mineral stamps over here because uh, they actually are diamond shaped when you put them on. And there's the triangle stamp here. And this stamp is interesting. It's the Indian head penny. Um, and it's actually the smallest stamp that they ever printed. That's very cute. And this over here is a souvenir sheet that you can kind of stick on top of your letter like a giant stamp. And we really like uh this stamp over here it's a hologram but it's actually it's not a, i guess it's not technically a stamp it's a um envelope right mm -hmm. so if you want to send it you would need to put um 
30 cents of stamps beside it and then you can send it in the mail. We sent one to you. Yes, we clipped it out and saved it too. Um, and there's also these stamp sheets that we love. So my younger daughter loves insects and spiders. And this one's neat because um, it has facts about each of the bugs on the back that you can read. That's really cool. Natalie, do you remember this one? I remember this one from when I was little. I think, I think so too. I don't. I didn't have this one, but I did remember them having. I, I think I do have some sheets with actual information on the back too. Yeah, because there's like a frog. There's a amphibians and lizards one that mm -hmm. they also had. There was like a phase of um, things from nature with the facts. So I guess you can go and find it now on eBay. Yeah, that's true. Uh, let's see. We also like. There's some really great stamps that have these beautiful scenes. We like the dinosaurs one. Oh, yes. That's really beautiful. Uh, but they also have a series of different ecosystems. And they have all different, like, the animals that live in that ecosystem. Um, so that's neat. There's, like, I don't know how many different ecosystems there are. Maybe 12 different ecosystems. It's, like, tundra and rainforest. Mm -hmm. um, and these were kind of neat space stamps. Uh, they're images from the Hubble telescope. Oh, that's really cool. Can you bring it up closer to see? Sure. Is this something that you got on eBay or you had this from your collection? What year was this? Uh, let's see. So um, I bought these at a stamp show. There's a lot of stamp shows and um, you can just buy the stamps at face value. Mm -hmm. because, um, I don't know, people, a lot of people used to collect them and then there were like so many collections now that there's just tons of stamps up. Um, like vintage stamps out that you can actually use. Um, but I haven't been to a stamp show in a while, but maybe soon. Yes. Uh, let's see. And then this is the last stamp sheet. These are um, different types of wildflowers. And oh, they, I love this. Yeah, it has the um, wildflowers name on the sheet too. Seems like something your daughter would like. Yes. Uh, so, and then there's some neat stamps that are out now that you can actually purchase at the USPS website. Um, and they use kind of interesting technology in them. So this one is a lenticular stamp. And I think, you can you see that it's mm -hmm. like a dinosaur? Yeah, and then and you then can it, see the, the bones inside. It, That's yeah, really you can cool. see the bones. Uh, and this is neat because they used, it's like a hologram. They, mm -hmm. oh, I have these ones. A hologram on it. Rainbow hologram is my favorite. It's just really cool. Yeah. And I think they've used that effect on some other stamps too, kind of like a foil mm -hmm. um, printing effect. And then this one's neat also. Um, it's printed on foil. So I yeah, it's a little beautiful. hard to see, but it's shiny. Anyways, those are all available right now at the USPS website, and um, they have another set coming out soon that is, um, it's going to uh, feature the sun. It's like their new space set that's going to come out this year. That's cool. I can't wait to see that. So um, Diana has had sent um, me over this course of the year. She always sends really cool stamps on her envelopes, and she told me about stamp soaking. So this was my chance to try it. I was very nervous because some of these are vintage stamps, but it was really fun. Um, so all you have to do is, um, because she used color paper, you make sure that the um, if you are soaking multiple stamps at a time, they all have the same color envelope. Otherwise, it'll um, colorize the stamp. Um, but this was fine. I just um, had one stamp floating in um, on top of water. It takes about 10 minutes. You can go to the next screen. And then um, what you can do is actually take it out. I took it out with the tweezers. And then you very carefully um, kind of blot the um, paper and stamp on a paper towel. And you're able to peel it off. If you can see, I have the other stamp I had done before on the side there face down because um, with the older vintage stamps, there's still the adhesive on the back. So I didn't want it to be wet and to stick to the um, to paper, paper towel. So I just kind of let it be upside down. I think it just took like maybe 20 minutes, half an hour is dry. And um, you can go to the next screen. 
once they're dry, I just let laid them face side up again and they can just kind of dry. And then what I did was um, with a paper towel, I put, I folded it over and I put it between um, some heavy books so it could get flat again. And that was it. So it was pretty fun and a very easy process. I don't know why I was very scared and nervous, but uh, Diana really helped me through that. So it's really fun. So this is way you can sort of like when you have, um, when you send um, fun stamps to people in the mail, you can tell them they can soak it and then they can keep these and put them in their little stamp album or keep them, you know, put them on, you know, do artwork with them, journaling. Yeah. Um, there's so many different things you can do. Yeah, and sometimes I'm, you know, this must have been kind of a thick envelope or something that we sent it to you on, but sometimes the stamp just floats off the envelope on its own, oh, or you yeah. can actually see the stamp peeling off and separating. But it really just depends on the stamp and the envelope that you get. Yeah, this envelope was a little bit a thicker paper, so yeah, it didn't separate there. That's why I waited the first time I did it. I waited for a while longer than I should have. <laughs> yes, yeah, we were so, texting about it. It was kind of fun. Yeah. Uh, so it really should only take 10 minutes or so. So yeah, um, wait, no, sometimes it's less. Sometimes it's just like pops off and like, oh, that's away. cool. Yeah. Oh, so I don't, cool. I don't know. I guess it was just the ones we sent you. Oh, cool. Anyway, it was really fun. I thought it was, it was great. I love this is the vintage flowers there and, and the birds there. So, um, the goldfinch. So I loved yeah. um, the colors in here too. So now it's a time at the end of the episode where we share our favorite things. Um, and I'm going to start by showing you a video that we really like. Um, it's on YouTube. It's about the US postal system and it's called Systems at Work. And it's really neat because um, they sort of use this ultra dramatic music and show how the US postal system works and how mail gets from your house and goes through the mail system and gets delivered at your door. Uh, my kids love it. We've been watching it for like three years. And oh, that's cool. <laughs> it's like super exciting every time they're like, wow, so dramatic. You know, the that's mail cool. really goes we'll, far. We'll link it down below so you can check it out. Okay. In the yeah. Box. yeah. yeah. Um, so next up, I know we've talked a lot about stamps in this issue, um, this episode. And um, this is sort of what my daughter put together for her um, mini stamp album. She used um, little planner discs and then used... Um, these sort of plastic sleeves and she stores them all um in here she has like little covers here but she has like her favorites in the front it's based on what she likes so she has like the apollo ones, some vintage ones some flowers um she kind of like to organize it herself and sometimes she moves things and looks th looks at them so it's been really fun just this is sort of like a diy little album here and i like the the mini size i like the little pockets in it yeah so this is our stamp album. Um, we've sort of been reverse collecting in that where um, we have unused stamps and then we use them to mail to friends. Let's see. Uh, but it's similar. It has the little pockets in it and you can put the stamps in the pockets. Oh, that's cool. And my kids like to flip through and look at the pictures um, to figure out what to send where. Here's our space page. And I think it's really great for um, them because it's like you want to try to get the stamps to add up to 55 cents. So mm -hmm. it's a good way, um, you know, to learn about math and stuff, too, or to even learn about numbers uh, to, you know, what, know what the yes, different numbers true. are. Yeah. <laughs> and you actually, because um, you started sending all these cute stamps on the envelopes that my daughter was like, oh, I really want to, like, collect some of these stamps again. And you sent her some to start her collection. And then you found... Um, cute there's lots of like um stamps for sale on ebay so yeah. i went through and found a bunch especially the space ones that she likes and then um it's very like it's a few dollars and i made them as stocking stuffers for for christmas and so she loved like putting them all in the book and so that was fun and the people that sent them they also put really fun stamps on their envelopes yeah. it it. so it's just like this it just keeps going and i i love that um the whole like stamp world yeah, yeah, I really like buying them on eBay as well because you can get like a little grab bag or something and it's mm -hmm. only a couple of dollars, but it's fun to get in the mail and look at. Yeah, that was a great tip. <laughs> okay, and then this is another book I wanted to share um, that uh, I actually review a lot of children's books. So um, Diana, uh, I sent it to Diana after I reviewed it. It's called The Extraordinary Book That Eats Itself. And um, what's cool about this book is not only is it printed on like recycled paper and what have you, you, the whole book is an activity. 
And uh, I think you, your girls loved it, right? Yes, yeah, they've actually done a bunch of the activities in it already. Um, but here's some of the things that they did. They made this um, like an eco fortune teller. Oh, I love that, the cootie catcher. Yeah, and then um, they did this thing. It's kind of like lenticular. So you look at it one way and then look at the other uh, and the picture changes. Well, I like that because it's just in time. April is also, you know, Earth Day is in April and uh, it's all about the environment and how we can be eco-friendly and learning about nature. And, you know, mm -hmm. there's all these different activities in there. It's kind of a fun book for spring break and getting ready yeah. for summer too. Yes, yeah, we've been spending lots of time working on our <laughs> book. Uh, a really fun virtual event coming up in May that we wanted to share with you guys is the Maker Music Festival. And um, just like um, all the events happening right now, everything's online, but it's great for families and it's great for kids. Um, we just posted about it on Instagram uh, yesterday. So you can check out our Instagram at STEM Chat. Um, but there is, um, you can just homemade music. Um, there's OK House Cat who takes, a, his name's Billy and he takes a bunch of like, toys and electronics and makes new instruments out of them. Um, there's um, Sonic Marbles where you can learn how to do all these cool like marble runs um, with making like sound and music. Um, Makey Makey Lego and Play-Doh instruments for kids. Uh, there's lots of fun things going on. So check it out at um, uh, www.makermusicfestival.com. There's um, 120 maker music makers um, attending and it'll be in like a virtual building and you'll be able to go into different rooms and buildings online and check everything out. So that looks like something fun for next month. Yeah, my, my daughter is actually really excited about it. Um, she plays violin and she also likes to make her own instruments out of recycled things. Uh, so we've been checking it out on Instagram because they post, um, I guess, who the different performers are going to be. And we've been checking it every day. So she's She's just really excited to try and, or she's really excited to be able to attend virtually. That's two. Thank you for joining us for this episode of STEM Chat. And we have something really exciting to talk to you about before we go is that we'll be offering soon this butterfly litter PDF. And Diana has a sample of how um, kids can cut it out and actually write on the wings of the butterfly uh, to their friend, to anybody in their family and send it off for um, our wonderful National Card and Letter Writing Month yeah. uh, this month. So find out on Instagram how um, to download this printable PDF. So, thank you for watching. Yeah, thank you for watching, and we will see you next time. Bye. Bye.